This week on Time to Get Social, we're talking about something that actually comes in as a very common question, and that is, how do you make your ads stand out from your competition? Let's get into it right now. If you're serious about building a brand, it's, it's a year by year. Billion dollar businesses actually have been built already on the back of just social media. Listen, we all know that advertising is becoming more popular than ever. A lot of small businesses, because of the accessibility, are advertising on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Now, the beauty of that is not all ads are created equally, of course. Just because you can access the ad platform and run your own ads, which is something that wasn't possible back in the TV and radio days, doesn't mean that you're running them properly and doesn't mean that you're running them well. So how do you make your ads stand out from your competition so you're not just another generic small business running generic small business ads? Well, there's a few things that you have to consider when creating an ad. Two of the biggest ones are your creative and your copy. Copy being any of the text you actually use in the ad. There's a third one that is often not considered and often neglected, which is actually outside of your ad, it's your landing page or your website. Where are you sending the traffic from your ad? So let's talk about those things. So number one is the creative. The actual creative of your ad, that's the image or video. It's the, it's the thing people see, basically. That is arguably the most important part of any ad, is the visual, especially in today's day and age, and especially on social media. That's what people are used to seeing. That's what they're used to engaging with. They're on social media to see visuals. If your visual can't tell your story in three to five seconds, you've already lost the sale. And every ad has to be made as if no one's gonna read any of the text at all. That's how you have to be crafting these ads. Assume your prospect is not reading anything. Does your video or your photo tell the full story? That's something you have to consider. The other thing about creative is make sure it's high quality. Don't use a blurry video or a blurry photo or a weirdly cropped photo and definitely don't use a photo with too much text. Now the other thing you need to consider is what kind of creative because there's a lot of options to choose from. You could use a photo, an actual photo, just a plain picture of you or something about your business. You could use a graphic, something you've designed graphically. You could use a video, a long or a short video, right? These are all choices you have to make you can make a carousel, which is a series of photos as your creative. And you can even make these little like photo video ads, which are basically turning your photos into videos. You can do that right in Facebook. These are all things you have to consider when it comes to your creative. In our experience, if you're trying to make your ad stand out, either you need very, very catchy photos. So something that is very, very eye-catching right off the bat. Like someone sees it and goes, whoa, not just a plain photo of your office or a desk or a computer, but something that really catches the eye. And you can do that either with very bright colors. You can do that with a specific point of interest. You could do that with, as Billie Jean always says, oversized objects, right? Like if you're doing a social media post holding up a giant pillow of an Instagram logo, for example, um, or something funny, something fun, something that would stop people while they're scrolling and they go, oh, what's that? Like it has to be visually, like it has to visually pop really is the point we're getting here. Um, but because that's a little too complicated to try to really quantify or understand, the safest bet is usually video. Video is everything these days, and especially for ads. Even if it's 30 seconds, 60 seconds, it's very easy to film. It's very easy to film well enough for an ad. And it's also very easy to just hire someone to shoot a bunch of your ads. It doesn't cost that much money, right? Videos perform very, very well. Why? They get your message across clearly. A photo can be misinterpreted, it can look boring, it can have the wrong focal point, it can have the wrong colors, um, and it doesn't move. A video is very clear. It's catching by nature. They're scrolling, something starts moving, pictures are moving, it captivates people. Now all you gotta do in your video, if you're gonna use video and you wanna stand out from those competitors is make sure in that video, in the first three to five seconds, you catch your user's attention. Whatever you gotta say, say it in three to five seconds. The most important catching point has to happen right at the beginning. If you fail to do that in the first three to five seconds, you've probably lost them, right? That's my recommendation. So if you're gonna choose the right creative, try to do video. Now, if you're not good on video, there's a couple of options. Let's say you're too scared, you're too nervous, I would say get over it. But if you're not gonna get over it, I would say use a platform like Fiverr and you can hire an actor. If you go on Fiverr right now and you type in spokesperson video, so go to fiverr.com, that's Fiverr with two R's I believe, fiverr.com, and search spokesperson video, 
you'll find a bunch of people for 50 to hundred dollars who will actually stand in front of a green screen with whatever you want behind them and read your script while videotaping themselves. We just did this for a recent project and it actually works very, very well. Now, of course, I'm a big fan of building personal brands and putting your face to a brand, but it's not the only way. So that is an option. Point is for creatives, which is part one of building a great ad that stands out, video is your friend. Now onto the second part of how to make your ad stand out. The other variable of advertising is your copy. And every ad has a few parts of copy. You have your headline, right? That's the bold title basically. You have your body copy or description, which is basically a caption. If you've ever seen on Instagram, there's text below a picture. That's your body copy. That's your description basically. And then you have your link where you're pointing your ad. And then in some ad placements, depending how you're running them, you'd have a link description, which is basically a little piece of text below the link. Now, the one that matters most, I'll tell you right now, is the headline. The headline is if they're gonna read anything, that's the part they're gonna read. Most people will never go farther than that. Your headlines, just like your video, have to relay the point of the ad and get their attention right off the bat. If it takes me more than a second or two to try to read your headline or think about it, or it's not clear, I'm just not gonna get it and I'm gonna move on. So make your headlines very clear and very to the point. And also, if you can, make them stand out, make them interesting. You know, a lot of marketing gurus these days are just general business owners, online influencers, people like Gary Vee, Grant Cardone, Billy Jean, Ty Lopez. They all say that boring will put you out of business in 2020. So think that through as you're shooting your videos or writing your headlines. How can you sound interesting, right? Here's a tip, write your headline, show it to four or five people before you actually run the ad and see if they think it's boring or if it catches their attention. Also show people your ad with a video or a picture and a headline and ask them, what do you think this ad is about? Before you tell them what it's about. And if they can't get it right away, back to the drawing board. Okay. As for your description, the large part of copy, this is where most people make a mistake. I'm going to give you some tips here. Don't overwrite these. The longer you write a description, the better of a copywriter you need to be to actually make it effective. But even the best copywriters in the world, people like David Ogilvy, the founder of Ogilvy and Mather, he will tell you that most people will never read the description. Now, if they do read the body copy or description of an ad, they'll never go beyond the fold, which is beyond the point that they can immediately see. On Facebook, that's about four or five lines of text max. It's really like a sentence and a half. That's all people will ever read, if anything, of your description. The only way to get them past that is to be such a good copywriter, you compel them to read deeper and deeper. However, most of us are not professional copywriters, nor do I expect you to be. Your job is to run your business, and that's probably what you do very, very well. So my suggestion for you in writing body copy is A, keep it short whenever possible, keep it clear. Get to the point, just like your headline, right in the top of your body copy, get to the point right away. Three, if in doubt and you don't know what to write at all, a great starting point is customer reviews. If you have any customer reviews, why not just copy and paste them into your ad? Here's what customers are saying about what we're selling you right now. Review, that's all you have to do. Those are great and multi-million dollar ad campaigns have run with body copy of nothing more than just reviews. The last and third part to how you can stand out from your competitors and make sure your ads actually capture attention to your prospect and sell things is where are you sending the traffic? It's your landing page or your website. You have to ensure that your landing page or website are optimized to make a sale. The biggest mistake we see is people just sending traffic back to their general website that hasn't been updated in eight years. That's all text, unclear headlines, random wordy value propositions that make no sense, right? And they're wondering why their ads are not converting. And that's why for most of our clients, we actually build custom landing pages for them because we don't wanna bother redesigning the entire website. Leave it as is, it's there, it serves its purpose. For advertising, we'll create custom landing pages for every ad, right? That way, we can make a page specifically about that one thing we're trying to sell or if we're trying to generate a lead, uh, you know, a form that just speaks to that one thing they can opt in for on that page. But some tips for you, if you are gonna redesign your website or you're crafting maybe a landing page, a few things you wanna consider is, again, try to match the theme of the ad in your landing page, right? So whatever your headline is on your ad, try to make that the main title of your landing page so that people feel that continuity. They click through and they feel like they're on the same value proposition, the same message that they click through for. Use video, more video and more photo as soon as possible. Get your face on that landing page, your company, your team, your clients, 
Put something real up front right away. Don't make it a dry corporate landing page that just has some words and some colors, right? That's not cutting it. Get a video or photos up front above the fold. Again, that word above the fold. On a website, it just means above where they have to scroll down. What do they see right away when they land on a page? That's the most important part. That's probably all anyone's gonna look at. Add social proof, reviews from past clients, throw them in there, pictures, make it real, logos, other companies you've worked with. Put anything that could show people, hey, I'm real, I've worked with people and they've been satisfied. Throw that social proof in there. Urgency, give people a reason to actually take action now. Are you offering a special offer that's gonna be gone tomorrow? Is there limited supply or limited quantity? Use those things. And the last thing is risk reversal. What am I considering in my mind that might make me not continue? I saw your ad, I clicked through, I don't wanna go forward because something scares me. Do I think you're gonna steal my credit card? Are you gonna spam me? Do I not wanna sign up for something because I think it'll be terrible and I can't get my money back? Add a risk reversal. That can be in the form of a money back guarantee, a satisfaction guarantee, anything that you can say, hey, there's no risk to this at all. Um, or sometimes it's just as simple as your wording. Like if you're just getting a lead, maybe you're just trying to give people a quote, for example, or you're a realtor that just wants to give like a free, like we'll figure out what your house is worth. Put in there, hey, there's no obligation at all. If you're not happy for any reason, you don't have to continue with us, you don't have to sell your house, you don't have to take us up on our offer, we're just making you a no obligation assessment. Whatever the deal is you're trying to push. Risk reversal, very, very important. And those are all the elements that you gotta work into landing page if you want that landing page to succeed. Big recommendation on my part, if you think your website is terrible or you don't have a website or you don't wanna bother redoing your website, ClickFunnels is an awesome resource to build landing pages. Landing pages, funnels, upsells, it's drag and drop, very easy, very fast. I'll put a link below this video as well uh, for you to go to try ClickFunnels, a free trial. It's exactly what we use for all of our clients. They're all on ClickFunnels and it works very, very well. So if you're struggling and you're thinking in your head, hey, how do I make those? That's how we make them, okay? So that's my tips on how you can help your ads stand out from your competition. And just to recap really quick again, it's the three elements, it's the creative. So choosing to use high quality video that gets your message across in three to five seconds. It's the copy, make sure your headlines stand out, they're punchy, they're clear, they're simple. And make sure your landing page is as high quality as possible with all the information, again, they need above the fold. Videos, photos, social proof, risk reversals, put all that in there, okay? And that's how you're gonna make sure that your ads stand out from your competition. If you have any questions about this at all, or you wanna learn more, you can always visit us at www.suitsocial.com, learn more about what we can do and how we can help your business build profitable marketing campaigns. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, drop a comment below, let me know what you think of today's video, and of course, subscribe. I'm back every single week with marketing videos on time to get social. I'll see you next week.